Cupid on the way? Software's not been rewritten yet. It's fine. If you link up Mountain Knot City after your Cupid is fixed, the update should filter through the network, stabilizing the connection. It's just one more reason to get there ASAP. But for now, make do with the Cupid you've got. to get the goods out of there? That takes balls. And would you look at that haul? You're definitely a cut above those fragile express goons. Let me guess, the great deliverer, am I right? Thought so. You know, those ruins you went to wouldn't be ruins if fragile hadn't fucked us over. Bridges, too. All that talk of rebuilding the country. It's just stirring folks up. My girl would still be alive if it wasn't for you people. She was there. When the terrorists tried to take out South Knot, she was already dead. Because of you. He's wrong. She's in a shelter southeast of the ruins. Mind if I take over? If he's not coming outside, then it doesn't matter who he yells at over the wire. And I'm guessing he'll feel better taking it out on me. Hey, Bridges. Fragile says my girl's alive. And I'm just supposed to believe her? After what she did? Hell no. You're gonna need to prove it. And there's only one way out. I'll give you something to take to this woman you found. She says it's hers? You bring her back here to me. Take this with you, too. It's a skeleton I made that improves stability and mobility. Threw together some of the parts I've got lying around. Just so we're clear, 
I'm only giving it to you because I want to make absolutely fucking lutely sure you complete this delivery. If my girl's still alive, then when she sees what you're carrying, she'll want you to bring her here. You do right by me. I'll do right by you. Hey, Sam. The junk dealer told me a little bit more about the order, and I figured you would want to hear it. After you complete the delivery, he wants you to bring his girl back to his shelter. People call her the chiral artist. She likes to use chiral matter in her work. Makes all kinds of things with it. Sculptures, paintings, clothing, jewelry. You'll be delivering one of her pieces, in fact. A chiral hourglass. To say it's fragile would be an understatement. But yeah, it's really freaking fragile. Treat it like a child. Be gentle. Got it? You need to carry it by hand and move slowly. Definitely no falling. Oh, and the dealer enclosed the message with the parcel. Make sure it gets to the girl. Delivering cargo. Uh, are you with Fragile Express? No. You're a Bridges Porter, aren't you? I I'm not expecting a package. Oh, it's nothing dangerous, is it? <gasps> oh my lord. I never thought I'd see this again. Let me have a closer look. Oh. Incredible. Not so much as a single scratch. I can't thank you enough. So, I'm on the one and only Chiral Network now. That's wonderful. I'm happy to be a part of the UCA. Take me with you. Please. I have to see him again. I made this for him, you know. When the terrorist attacked, my mother and I barely escaped with our lives. I tried to find him afterwards. I did. I just didn't know where to look. But that's not why I stopped. My mother never liked him. She made that pretty clear. But I didn't think She'd go as far as to lie. So when she said that he died, I believed her. And you heard that message. It's him. It's really him. never have given up. Deep down, I knew he was out there somewhere. But I couldn't leave my mother all around. So I tried to make my peace with it. <sighs> Only I couldn't. Not even if I do wanted to.
I was stuck in the past, unable to move on. Take me to him. I'm begging you. I'm ready to go. Right now, if you want, just say you'll take me. I'll hold the hourglass. I don't want it to break. I can't believe you're alive. 
That's my line, silly. I thought you were dead. My mom told me you were. I kept it close, always. But after the attack, it stopped working. I thought about fixing it, getting the sand flowing again. But it felt too much like moving on, like forgetting you. Well, now we can both move on, together, you and me, if you're ready. Of course. <laughs> the man I knew. Did a pedal junk. He fixed the things, made them like new again. Picking up the pieces and making the most of them. That's what I do best too. But this is one piece. We don't need. <laughs> The only time that matters is the time I spend with you. So let's count the moments ourselves together. I'm asking you to marry me, dummy. I will. I do. Yes. <laughs> One other thing. What? Don't hate mom, please. Tell her this is what we want. Help her to understand and accept it. Because she needs us and I need her. All right. I'm pretty good at patching things up. <laughs> Sorry, I was such an asshole. I treated you and Fragile like shit. I'm gonna try and make a fresh start with my girl. And though I can't do half of what you people do out there every day, I'm ready to pull my weight. If you need anything fixed, I'm your man. The UCA can count on me. It'll take some getting used to, but it's past time. We will join the UCA's network. I won't let you down. I swear. We'll never forget you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Sam Bridges. That one-man expedition team? They may be cut off up here, but word still travels. We've heard all about the Great Deliverer, the BT Buster, the terrorist, uh, Stopper. Ah, I'm still working on that last one. <clears throat> well, I'm just stoked to meet you, man. So, what you got for us? Whoa, incredible! This will be a huge help. Thanks. You're not gonna even recognize the way station when we're through. All we need now is to get jacked into the network, am I right? part of the UCA for real. We've been literally marooned on an island for way too long. I can't wait to reconnect with everyone at HQ. Patching up this place is gonna take some work, but I'm feeling revved up and ready to go like never before. We won't let our country down. Thanks, Sam. And good luck out there. Not that you need it. You're gonna hit the West Coast before you know it. Good work, Sam. Next, you need to extend the network to the distro center north of the city. Now'd be a damn good time to do it, too, as they just sent out an SOS call. Info's still coming in, but it looks like there's been an accident, and we've got injured in need of assistance. Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Time limit set. Anyone this time. 
Thank you, Sam. Really? I, uh... I hear the chiral network is coming along. You think the signal's strong enough to reach us here? <sighs> I hope so. Give it a try. People came. They finally reached Edgenoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach.
I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges One was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire. To start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose. A fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the President himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. The people of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. If the theory that tar jets are somehow connected to the beach is correct, then Mountain Knot City may very well be in danger of being consumed by the other side. Which is why they need you to close off the ones in that region before it's too late. However, if we were to use an antimatter bomb, our scientists think it might be enough to sever the connection. They used to research antimatter propulsion technology here before the first expedition. Using antimatter sequestered by the beach, believe it or not. But those experiments were eventually suspended. The researchers never came close to developing anything workable, and the dangers were deemed far too great. When Bridges One arrived, they assumed control of their facilities and antimatter stores. To minimize the risk of a catastrophic annihilation, the antimatter was partitioned using special magnetic traps. We repurposed those traps to make the bomb. Once the magnetic field is removed, the antimatter comes into contact with the casing and triggers a void out. Now, it goes without saying, but if one of these things goes off en route, we'll have a catastrophe on our hands. And to make matters worse, the traps weren't designed to be transported. Sure, the container carrying the bomb has a built-in stabilizer, but it's not something you want to tip over or drop. If those magnets fail, you're gone 
along with everything else for miles around. So yeah, you could call this a dangerous delivery, but I can't think of anyone better equipped to handle it. Get it done, Sam. We're counting on you. Bye, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The kind we can't come back from. games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city? That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse.
Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not a real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that led them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lachna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lachna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lachna around. Which would be great because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Oh, oh, oh. 